she wanted to be on top, but the pressure pushed her down. We're bringing you a cautionary tale of an ex model who found herself not on the runway, but locked up in a cell block. Tonight, she speaks out from behind bars, her advice to keep others from spiraling down the same dark road. Here's ABC's Lindsay Janice. Hello, Tyra. Oh, my God, Tyra's here. Hi. Renee, I'm 20, and I'm from Maui. She wanted to be America's next top model. Will Renee and Natasha please step forward? Drive and determination weren't enough for Renee Alway, placing a disappointing third in the hugely popular reality show's eighth series in 2007. But one of the next headshots the world would see of this beautiful young woman, this shocking mugshot. Snapped in the summer of 2013, the former model's face covered in sores. Alway, next seen in court, again almost unrecognizable, haggard, her head shaved. The ex reality TV star speaking as an inmate from inside California's Riverside County Jail. I can't even remember what was happening then. That's how bad it was. I have bits and pieces of broken. broken memory about it. Now 28 always says it all began after the bright TV lights went out. I couldn't get past the reality TV stigma that had been put on me. And then there's the pressure of the fans, you know, where are you? What happened? It's almost like a setup for failure. So she began heading down a familiar path, abusing drugs. Um, drugs have been a part of my life since I was I was young. Alway, by now a mother of two small children, becoming increasingly desperate. There were a string of arrests. Alway accused of breaking into people's homes and cars, stealing weapons, money, and other valuable items. Once you're on that downward spiral, it's, it's nearly impossible to stop. Police reports describing her as a homeless woman living in her car with her two kids. On one occasion, Alway allegedly under the influence of heroin. An officer writing, she turned and screamed in my face. I feared she was trying to bite my face. I pushed her face away from me with my left palm. Months later, officers answering a call about a suspicious woman trying to climb over a wall into a gated complex in Palm Springs. You kind of get a case of, well, forget it then. You know, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do whatever I do and you know, you're, you're numb to it and you just, you just go for it. They say they arrived to find one of the units broken into. Inside, Alway lying on a loaded semi-automatic handgun. I remember bits and pieces of it. I, I, I remember SWAT. I remember having guns. I remember feeling like, well, come and get me. I think that the drastic contrast from the, the spotlight and the constant 24-7 uh, camera presence of being on a reality show to suddenly being thrust back into your old life, just going back to being completely anonymous, is, is a psychological shock. Alway is far from the first reality TV show star to go to the dark side after a stint in the spotlight. Get the out. I am leaving. I'm keeping Get her. Out. I'm keeping her. Take Get teen mom's Amber Portwood, whose struggle with young motherhood caused controversy on screen. Get out! Well, I'm keeping her for a while. Off screen, a debilitating drug problem landing her in trouble. She left court mandated rehab and served 17 months in prison. American Idol contestant Jessica Sierra. Another ex star who ended up on the wrong side of the law. What led you to want to come pursue treatment? I guess. After I got arrested and stuff, and the disappointment in my family. Sierra checked into Dr. Drew's celebrity right. rehab after pleading no contest to battery and cocaine possession in 2007. A lot of times, you know, these people were picked for reality shows because they had a penchant for drama. It really escalates any risk factors they had. Just weeks before her final arrest, Renee Alway giving birth to a third child. She'd already chosen to give up custody of her other two children as drugs took over her life. When they were no longer right there with me and I no longer had that purpose, 
It's one thing to fail your parents, it's one thing to fail your fans and your friends, it's something completely different to fail your, your blood, your children. In the end, Alway making a deal with prosecutors, pleading guilty to multiple counts of burglary, as well as vehicle theft, illegal possession of a weapon, and identity theft. She's now serving a 12-year sentence. So does she blame any of it on her time in the spotlight? I can't really say, but regardless of whether you win or not, you have to recognize the strength in yourself and be able to be proud of who you are, regardless of what other people think. For Nightline, Lindsay Janice, ABC News, New York.